Hello to you, soul brothers and sisters, wherever you are located, and welcome to uh, the series Spiritual Awakening Journey, episode 4. So last time I talked about uh, some uh, concepts like ascension and I related some of my stories again for those uh, who are new here. I am sharing some of my experiences about how I started awakening and how I started seeing weird events and how I later on uh, understood them and all this. But all this journey was difficult, hard. It required a lot of learning, a lot of research, uh, a lot of willingness to do that, to do that effort. Uh, and uh, once we say yes to the universe, the universe will back us up on it. Uh, we are all, almost all of us on earth, invited to that, to step into that journey. <laughs> and the sooner the better for all of us. Uh, so, as I was talking about ascension and cognitive dissonance, as I said, and all these uh, before I forget, my videos were being interrupted uh, abruptly, if you have watched them fully. That's because my phone is allowing me to uh, record uh, its high definition 40 minutes, it stops. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna say my message now. If you like uh, this series, please do subscribe, uh, uh, because so that you get notified when I post something new. And if you like them, please share them, spread the word, spread the good news to to as many people as possible. Trust me, believe me, I'm not doing this as a job. I'm not doing this for the profit or for the money. I have other things I do. I'm a teacher that, that you know, to, to uh, provide and uh, please share as much as possible of the word. Comment below on your experiences. We need to uh, unite our hands and uh, join our voices together and you will see that so many of us are going through this. So many of us who do not even dare speak about uh, what they are going through. Even me. I have decided to do the series like uh, last summer, but I, I, I haven't had enough courage to start filming it and putting it out there. I understood that I needed to do more clearing and I had to go undergo a series of clearing and purging and so on of certain stuck emotions and this will never end. It's going to continue, continue until we become pure as white as diamond white light. Uh, it's going to happen, uh, keep happening. So I had to shed a few things uh, and remember that I was a teacher and I was a fun teacher and I used to enjoy it and I used to love doing this. But because I got, not in my teaching career, in, in, in the family environment, uh, uh, I got so posed, so kicked, so uh, shamed and uh, they made me feel so much guilt. You sort of lose a part of your identity, of your soul, of your true, who you truly are. You, so, you, you sort of um, you lose your self confidence and and uh, spirit. My guides help me uh, remember more of who I am. Integrate more of who I am. Because that's what we do when we go on the ascension uh, uh, journey, the journey of awakening. As we start healing, it's like a glass, uh, uh, you know, uh, of water. No, maybe the glass is not the correct thing. It's like a closet. As you start removing the old clothes and you start putting the new, you're letting in the new, uh, the new that is actually you that is actually you that you have perhaps long forgotten that you have repressed that you have uh, whatever that is so um there you go uh 
about then ascension i was talking last time and i said i will talk about the ego and the higher self so i was talking last time about how we connect to this grid and by the way uh, i did say that uh, last year uh, as of this year beginning of this year the grid got absolutely connected so it will become easier uh, for us to connect again and that is why uh, more people will be awakening uh, as the the light is getting stronger and uh, uh, as i'm saying the more we do clearing uh, the clearer things become so when we connect and we get this knowledge this inner knowing what does this where does this come from it actually become comes from our higher self higher self there are many higher selves at different dimensions at 6d 8d etc until you go into your highest self which is anchored in source which is anchored in pure love and light in eternal joy so you already each one of us already knows what the kingdom of heaven is but we have forgotten we have forgotten we got so separated from source we dropped down into such a low uh, 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 frequency uh, dimension that we totally forgot and there are entities dark entities on earth that they are not helping this process rather they are making it uh, more difficult for us to remember so now what does that have to do with the ego whenever we incarnate on earth um, uh, we ipso facto obligatory we get an ego it comes with us the subconscious the conscious the ego the id the now many you might hear many i've heard from my readings i've heard like different uh, point of views some would say the death of the ego while others would say no the ego remains it is part of your creation uh, and uh, we just need to bring it into a higher frequency tell the ego that we are shifting we are moving up we are moving back to the light if you want and now so maybe this is still abracadabra let me um, ex explain better to simplify so the ego is um, what i know about myself since i was born until say present moment it's uh, whatever anyone has told me from my parents friends environment uh, school uh, university work that let's say i'm smart i'm fun i'm creative so i start uh, uh, painting an image of self uh, related to whatever i have been told and uh, it's not just the good things that like i mentioned now that i'm smart creative and fun and all that uh, it is also the um, painful and not so good things that we have heard from many people okay and as i said in previous in the previous videos if you are uh, stumbling upon this video for the first time i really advise you to start watching them from episode one and then go to the second third like step by step because um it's like a course since i'm a teacher i like to go uh, uh, in an organized way uh, to explain how things are so that you don't feel any cognitive dissonance or uh, weirdness as you listen to these so uh in the ego uh, uh so there are other definitions that are not so great okay maybe someone told you you are not enough or uh you are a weirdo because you dare think of uh, new ideas maybe someone told you, you are selfish i don't know and people project it does not have to be true uh, at all okay and we project as well let's let's just uh, clarify one uh, important uh, concept 
When Jesus said, do not judge the other, why don't you judge thyself the luck that is in your eye? If you remember that example, he meant it. No one is better than anyone, truly, sincerely. And uh, once we step on this awakening journey and we start doing the clearing, uh, we understand that that we all have been through shit. We have all done shit. And uh, uh, it's our, <coughs> our responsibility to do all that clearing. <coughs> and uh, so this is the ego. The ego wants to control. Part of its mission is to protect us, where, where, uh, to show guidance to us and all this. Um, actually, Jesus uh, it talks about it beautifully in the Course in Miracles. Uh, the thing about if some people are still questioning ascension and finding it weird and a bunch of people, new age and uh, some of the things that I have been accused of, actually, by trying to help people awaken so um, many messages uh, channeled messages were sent to us before this ascension process uh, started in 2012 many so many already were studying all these channeled messages and preparing preparing actually anchoring light on earth they were if you want the first way showers they listened to the messages and they believed them and they started teaching uh, while most of us uh, the rest were asleep we were still in our 3d box uh, the success the career do they like me do i look good enough and all that um they were preparing for us to awaken and once we awaken uh, uh re when you free you, you start freeing yourself of the pains. And when, where's the ego comes? So Jesus says in Course of uh, Miracles, or it, my understanding also is that Jesus is teaching us now, each and every one of us. Uh, he said in Course of Miracles, he is our brother. And the road back home, uh, would be far too distant without him helping us actually and uh, i just remembered something in the bible if you read the bible carefully not the way they interpret it for us and sadly uh, many things were removed and uh, with the very little we are left with we can still find in between the lines jesus teaching us simplified quantum physics Jesus teaching us real things they speak to your heart uh, so when he says let the children come to me it's not because he like prefers children and uh, maybe he likes to play who knows but the thing is uh, and of course when we awaken we remember that the, 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 the inner child who wants to play and uh, they made us forget even that so why he says let the children come to me that's because my brothers and sisters the older we get the more these indoctrinations and patterns of behavior get stuck in us they become so much part of us that we can no longer see them we can no longer see them if i am to give an example and i'll relate that, that to the ego it's related the idea is related uh so even the ego when someone tells you for a very long time let's say in a couple in a relationship or parent children abused children or an abused wife or maybe abused husband if they can keep on hearing the same uh, uh, criticism again and again, you are stupid, you are stupid, let's say, or uh, uh, you are crazy or whatever, it, 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 although the person would reject to that because deep within they know they are not, they, they 
it becomes part of them and if they meet new people and they dare say the the, the key word uh, uh, you're crazy or you're uh, um, stupid they they you know they lose their minds uh, that's because they believe it actually <laughs> they start believing it deep it start affecting them they want to hear someone telling them the opposite <clears throat> the opposite of that so that they rega regain confidence in themselves again so to someone to reassure them that they are not stupid they are smart and uh, that they are not uh, crazy and oh, believe me i've been uh, uh, how to say uh, judged of all that uh, despite my super high iq <laughs> really really pe people make you believe all, all sort of stuff so uh, ego takes that and it becomes part of the ego and when jesus said let the young come to me the children why not the old i realize that the older we get the more these patterns or whatever we heard or whatever belief system we have it will become harder for us to let that go to say okay now i'm willing to hear new things it will become harder to open ourselves to new things that is why it's gonna be hard for the old ones to understand or to dive in into these ascension things unless there is enough light within uh, them to help them do that so uh, also uh, the, the, the older we are the more pains we accumulate uh, and and traumas and the more clearing we need the more clearing and purging we need so that we heal and so, so that we integrate uh, more of the light and the love now uh, about uh, healing also jesus said uh, in uh, when he gathered people on the mountain and he spoke to them in french it's called les beatitudes uh, i don't know what they are in english so uh, he said you are the salt of the earth uh, you are the healers of the earth you are the light of the world whenever i used to read that in the bible i would think who is he talking about the light of the world was he talking about only his disciples <clears throat> but he was talking to a bunch of people also sitting there maybe the first first people who started church but no a voice within me would not like believe that look um also in my awakening like there's something missing in here i mean if they are the light who are we you know so and then a few years when i started awakening uh, the awakening journey started and i started understanding things more and more step by step uh, my consciousness started expanding and so on i remember once uh, you know the dim lights for the tree christmas trees and so on i was i love them i love dim lights and many of us love them many of us love to stare at the stars uh, uh, the dim lights uh, at Christmas, although it is a pagan uh, maybe thing or whatever, I loved it because it's like we are the light of the world. The light of the world, when you plug that and look at the light, the beautiful, wonderful light uh, that is there. So, how come we are the light of the world? But he was talking to people 2000 years ago. Now here again, I beg you, cognitive dissonance, please. Um, please start watching from the beginning the series to, to, to get there. So as I understood it, since we incarnate, and since lately, honestly, I've been having lots of visions and uh, it took many years also people telling me uh, I remember one person told me she saw me in Ice Age and uh, 
I just kept that in my mind, you know. But then when I started watching history documentaries, it's not just ascension. I'm going to now add things related to history and the discoveries that are happening out there that they are supporting all that. Someone has hidden things from us. Someone did not want us to see the whole picture. Uh, so I was saying that... Uh, history uh, 2000 years ago yes um, who were they the disciples the people and all this since we incarnate since I've, in my visions i've seen myself in ice age and now i relocated to turkey and i feel an attraction to go back to tepe why this at attraction and i go i search uh, history documentaries and so on uh, apparently according to graham uh, 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 Hancock, um, they are thousands of years old, more than 10,000 years old. If you watch his videos, his documentaries, he's trying to prove that we have been here for a long time. There have been people on earth for a long time here. Not as archaeologists and regular, your regular archaeologists would tell you. And you have Mathieu Lacroix also shouting out and talking about the discoveries they are making and, and so on. So if we combine these facts with now my visions that Ice Age and I I saw that I was in Gobekli Tepe because Graham says that there was Atlantis and then the fall of Atlantis after that they started to they tried to reboot uh, uh, <coughs> civilization they were advanced they they tried to do this in Gobekli Tepe and then after that you had the flood in Egypt oh, our story in, in Christianism and Judaism begins with uh, uh, the flood in Egypt and, and that's so <coughs> weird huh isn't it there is more to it and as I say I'm a researcher I read lots of stuff before I talk about it so I understood so and and when a person told me that I incarnated in uh, Egypt uh, and Palestine I and and a few years ago I had a vision that I was 2000 years ago during uh, when Christ was here and my wonderful friend uh, I hope she, she comes here as a guest uh, uh, gave me uh, hypnosis and uh, one of the places I saw was uh, uh, the time when Jesus was here and the light was here and it was fabulous and it was wonderful and it was fantastic undescribable love and light among us so you see how many years it took me to be able to grasp that to be able to believe and how many sources the universe sent me to support that I'm not going crazy and I'm not losing my mind. Some of them are from ascension materials. Some of them are from historical documentaries. And then and some uh, people uh, told me stuff. And then I had visions. I mean, all these, all these, come on. Th there must be some truth in it. So uh, if then we incarnate... And if then, let us suppose, many of us were there during that time, moving from one country to another, say Egypt and Talib, we were in Palestine and, and so on. So, and how many were they when Jesus wa was here? Like, can someone confirm the information for me? I forgot the number, like 300,000 people, 3 million on earth. How many were they? So, those few who received the good news... Who accepted the word they incarnated again and again and again and they too are the light of the word so it is applicable to them when Jesus was there and to us who kept on reincarnating because your ancestors are you you might be that grand grandmother or uh, you know okay so, and there might be many fractals of you now existing on earth. What are fractals? That's another concept. It's like, 
look at the leaves of the tree you have one uh, uh, like that and then it opens into two and then it opens into forks and forks and forks and forks we expand we expand so um, i'm still actually figuring that figuring that out waiting for more uh, clearer stuff but it's something like that so when jesus told us you are the light of the world he meant them and he meant us us you are the healers of earth why would he tell us that we are healers of earth that's because he knows that we have been through so much trauma and we still are that we will be needing to heal ourselves and as we heal ourselves we start healing others and we heal earth so what are we healing from uh, if you remember i mentioned before the consciousnesses everything is a consciousness and uh, whatever we think whatever we do is consciousness we have created so many things we're not even aware some of things we have forgotten i'm gonna give you an example so i did mention before that i had issues with my mom she was uh, truly one of the most difficult experiences in my life and uh, to my friends and to everyone i've met for years and years i would complain and complain about my mother and my mother i am so sorry mom for all that i was asleep i was not awakened i'm sorry for her because by doing this i i i sort of imprison her with my energy and even if she did wrong it is it was my role perhaps to love her embrace her but i couldn't at that time and most probably my higher self knew that i'll get back to the higher self and ego so for years my mom she's doing this to me i was doing that or blah, 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 blah. she's evil and uh, you know all this all this creation of words i have created so many so many so many bad things so this is when jesus says before you judge thy brother judge yourself okay what was done to me was totally wrong horrible no child should be born into a, such an environment it is a crime against humanity i am surprised that i am even still alive today but that is the mission i have chosen that is the mission my higher self has chosen and i'm still trying to understand it <laughs> okay it takes a lot of time okay i understood parts of it i still uh, more parts are missing so my creation is this talking to everybody and the hatred this is what i have created and this is what i need to heal to clear so that there would be no frequency no vibration on that level of hatred lingering within me sometimes you say to people i forgive them but you don't there is a vibration deep within that is stuck no? this is the energy that is stuck that needs clearing uh, uh that needs clearing another thing <clears throat> because of the really deeply hard uh, trauma that i have been through uh, I'm not gonna go to the details. They are real drama, trauma, really, really. So um, I went into depression, and I've been through depression for a very, very, very long time. Uh, this depression, because it was so shocking, and and. Uh, I go again to another hypnosis I did with another soul uh, sister, okay? And I'm also grateful to her. And in here, I discovered something stuck. And it's the universe that sent me all this. Because I'm asking the universe, please show me what I need to clear. Please show me what I need to clear. So, uh, she took me to a place she did not take me actually i don't know i took myself i remembered something i did not even know i was a fetus 
in my mother's womb and it was a period of war in Lebanon civil war savage war bad intentions I was literally the fetus in this uh, hypnosis and she felt it as well by the way I was there not only feeling the bad energies of the you know the people who plan and scheme for wars and power and the, the, the arms and the, the blood and the, the, all that these people this energy I was feeling it and I was also feeling my mother's energy because she had depression I got it from her I took her energy she got she had depression the woman was uh, unhappy happy the woman was suffering she needed help no one helped her no one came to help her uh, uh, and in this I saw the, the the light I was diamond white light in this fetus but the terror there that I was feeling, imagine I have carried this all my life and I have only remembered it a few months ago and cleared it. So when the soul, the spheres, I saw her, she couldn't. She had pure love and light energy and she was feeling all this when, when she decided to incarnate there and... and Put on love and light and she sees all this what happens when the shock and the trauma is too much uh, uh, the parts of our soul they it's sort of like uh, flee they 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 uh, it's like your soul disconnects from you and uh, part of it it runs away and and I feel for quite a period of my life I was like on autopilot <laughs> autopilot disconnected although I would connect with things sometimes but this trauma was too much so getting back to you are the healers of earth yes we have been a lot it's not my mother's fault the poor woman I wish someone was I was too young I wish someone from the elder brothers uh, because I came very late someone or father or someone or society or the doctors they were not ready people were too indoctrinated especially in her environment to help her awaken uh, and most probably uh, she went into hysteria and she has alzheimer now because she couldn't do it it was too much and i culpabilized her for so 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 many years and i feel sad i feel sad and I would uh, uh, feel guilty about it. But then what would that do? It would make me drop into low frequency again because we should not judge ourselves. It's not we should not judge ourselves. It's like, yeah, I should not judge myself. So I'm not going to go question myself about what I have done ever in my life because I should not judge. No, we see, we feel, we feel the pain we have caused and, and it makes us cry and hurt. But... If we get stuck there in the crying, I'm sorry, and da, 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 and we don't move into the next phase that is forgiving the self because this is how much I knew. I was a pure, pure angel light and all this was too much. And maybe I had promised, my higher self promised to bring in more and more love and healing to her. I don't know. Maybe I couldn't do it. I should allow myself. I should forgive myself. Or maybe I did something. Maybe I left her a seed for later on. For who knows how this is working. We are still learning. Things are still unfolding. So this is to tell you uh, that we have so much trauma. And whatever trauma we are living here. Basically according to my readings, my research and my downloads and understanding. They have to do with uh, traumas we have experienced in other lifetimes perhaps on this earth perhaps in other dimensions so when we decided that this is the time guys this is the most phenomenal time on earth to be incarnated to be here we are privileged to be going through this 
to be going through what actually actually they tell us the purgatory is somewhere you die if you were not good you go there and you go to the purgatory until you are allowed to go to heaven we are in the purgatory right now we are going through it it is it happening live and the funny thing no one is coming and punishing us uh, and judging us yeah dude you did wrong and we're gonna punish you go do this and we're gonna beat you no <coughs> no one is doing any of that to us by refusing to forgive ourselves after we have of course seen our errors admitted it asked forgiveness from the person in front of us if not physically at least etherically if they they don't want to listen to our uh, accept our apology after we have done all that we need to come to forgive ourselves otherwise we get stuck again in this energy and in my downloads i was shown how we get stuck we get stuck we are one of the things i told you before that i receive downloads and i don't share them then i hear someone talking about it and i say oof i understood it it means i was connected one of them was one day i was sitting sipping my coffee and i understood that we are like this huge computer of electrons and cables and electricity going there and there but it is alive this computer and it's like uh, you know when there is something stuck on your uh, say your tape keeps repeating and it keeps repeating it. it's it's you know you gotta let's say I don't know or USB you gotta uh, take it out uh, uh, clear it clean it uh, run the scan uh, for viruses and then use it again or something like that so th what we are doing is we cannot force ourselves also to heal when I first see something that I did wrong, it might take me years to be able to forgive and let go. Why? If we force ourselves, there would still remain an energy uh, of this pain and hurt in us. And that is why later on the universe will give us other experiences uh, similar with similar emotions to this one so that we experience again and uh, clear clear it one more time and another more time and another more time it's like this white cloth that has been tarnished with something very black you have to wash it again and again and again and again until it becomes pure totally pure <coughs> until our frequency and there is something there is nothing you can do about the frequency they feel it it is felt so even if in your if you in your mind you say I am healed I am good, and the frequency is still wrong, you're gonna go through that lesson again and again. So if you are going through, you say why does this always happen to me? That's because you still need to go through it, to feel the pain again, to awaken and to clear it and clear it and clear it until it becomes super pure. Uh, again, if you uh, any of this means anything to you, if you have uh, any similar uh, stories, uh, please comment, share below. We need to hear you. We need to join hands. We need to share our stories. Get out of the closet. We all have had traumas. We all have had stuff. You know, I'm not talking in details about them. It's general, but at least talking about our own beliefs, saying our true voice. It's about time it's about time please do so uh don't forget to comment share and like and uh, last time i talked about the false uh light workers who would like come and uh, uh beg for money or even those who overcharge you and i've seen many of them beware beware of and jesus said it beware of the wolves beware of those who did not do the personal healing on them themselves before they offer healing to you because they will project their problems have a nice day and i see you next time